This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hall test, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we've got our good friend Grinelli on the prolific DCS World Mob Biker. Please say hello, Grinelli. Hello, Grinelli. Now, every time we meet up, you've usually got some harebrained scheme you've cooked up, and today is no different. So, I'm going to slowly pan around my camera, and even though I suppose people have seen the uh, thumbnail, so they know what's going on, can you guess what it is yet? Can you guess what it is yet? It's a hot air balloon! Grinelli's made a freaking hot air balloon. He makes stealth fighters, he makes Wright Brothers flyers, he makes hot air balloons, he makes spaceships. And and you said to me uh, a few months ago, I think, uh, Cap, I'm going to make a hot air balloon and I immediately thought no you're not it's hard making mods in DCS yes, it's not very user friendly as I'm sure anyone would agree and here we are and what is looking like it might be a working hot air balloon so well done Grinelli okay so we're looking at project tab it's a two or three year old idea that's been dreamed of creating lighter than air flight in DCS, having the ability to potentially get a bunch of spectators or people that might want to participate in a virtual air show and watch it live from the air. Not just meme it by putting some hot air balloon model mm -hmm. over something, but do it that blows your socks off to the point where you're like, I can't believe this maniac wasted this time doing this but we did it's perfect and it suits us as well because just about everything we do as well people are like why did you do that no one asked for this and that's kind of the same here but that's the friggin genius of it Grinelli love it already right Grinelli I've never been in one of these it is on my bucket list but we've got a basket there which literally looks like a wicker basket are they wicker baskets yes sir wow uh we've got obviously your gas su uh, supply here what is it what is it propane what propane is it? propane yep. okay we've got the burners and they are just burners right correct they consist of two types of burners if you zoom into that you have a teal lever which is the liquid or whisper burner which produces a medium or moderate level flame it's a lot quieter uh in europe the whisper burner is used uh actively for flying low over cattle or wildlife and stuff like that all the key binds with the keyboard have been set up. So Q and E mm -hmm. would trigger your teal levers, which would trigger the whisper burners. In the middle of the two burners, there's two red levers. Those two red levers are controlled with the left and right arrow keys. Everything is clickable as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are your main burners. So you would obviously have your hand up there like you're holding onto an O handle in a car. Mm -hmm. And then you would press those levers up with your hand and that would trigger the burners. You have two, obviously, units, a left and a right side. The tanks behind you, the two tanks on the right side correspond with fueling the right burner, and the two tanks and the other tanks on the left correspond with the other burner. Below that, you have pilot light levers, which are yellow handles that are similar to the whisper burners. And if you click on those, it'll swing them 90 degrees around, and that's what lets the gas hit the pilot light so we're going to need to have both of those on check when it comes time to fire up the balloon in between those they're very difficult to see but there's piezo igniters like you'd have on a grill you turn on the propane for your grill and you pop the i guess those of us that are old enough to have the old school grills where you used to pop that igniter and, and it would get the flame to light you would ha you have to do the same with these mm -hmm. and those are on a Z and x-ray on your keyboard mm -hmm. should trigger those you're hovering over one yeah, now in the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep so those two those two are your igniters they are set with a math random number so it depends sometimes it takes one click to get the pilot light to light and sometimes it takes six or eight times to get the pilot light to light so it's always best to just spam those when we're ready to do mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. to the right of the burners on the bar which is difficult to see there's a computer by digitools yep it is a real hot air balloon uh computer that's got a ton of uh important data that will help us fly the hot air balloon and then just above that on the rail uh, wouldn't be a Grinelli mod without an mp3 player or a way to play <laughs> music so we have our mp3 player up there in white and uh you can as with the edge and the other airplanes we've done customize your playlist and add whatever music you right. want we find ourselves at a cold start state i guess now is a good time as any to pull up the rearm and refuel window mm -hmm. let's go ahead and select the four flower bomb loadout from the drop down <laughs> menu mm -hmm. okay and we can leave the livery default for now we'll mm -hmm. inspect the liveries mm -hmm. and the options once you get it inflated so we've got raptor which is awesome uh splinter raptor 
Another raptor with a no funny nose. Camo raptor. Wow. Does it even exist? Doubt it. Star scream. Australian flag. German flag. Brazilian flag. Canadian flag. A French flag. German flag. Japan flag. Polish flag. A Russian flag. Uh, no idea. It is Singaporean. Uh, Safia flicking. Uh, Spanish. Swedish. Swiss. Turkish. Ah, the big one. The big daddy. The UJ. America. Uh, ah, oh, what's that? Vietnam. Wow, okay. Oh, <laughs> a little sexy thing. 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 More sexy things. Ah, and it's a friggin' space shuttle. What the hell? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Shotgun toilet. Shuttle. Shotgun toilet. <laughs> The space shuttle is a real big. thing. <laughs> is it a real no, thing? You used to fly it. Imagine trying to make that son of a gun. Unbelievable. Yep, you're good to go with that. Okay, now let's prepare the balloon for flight. So turn around in the basket and look at those four tanks, and you'll find yep. four levers uh, above each nozzle, and those are quick release valve levers, so you can click all of those so they're pointed directly up or toward you. Check. Now we can turn around and ensure that our pilot valves are on. So let's click those to make them perpendicular with the teal valves. Check. Now we're going to spam click the mouse maybe six or eight times on each one of those red igniters. How do I know when they've lit? You don't. We'll know later if they're lit or not. It won't, the balloon won't let you fire the burners when it's completely inflated on the ground. Otherwise, it yeah. would start a massive fire. So you just take it on faith. You blast it seven or eight times, yeah. you should be good. Press right. down on your keyboard once. The down arrow on your keyboard once. You see how the balloon's like scooting across the ground a yep. little bit? It's just not scooting. And, it's, not and it stopped when you... Okay, good. There's a drop line. We're going to get mm -hmm. to that, but mm -hmm. there's a drop line. Sometimes mm -hmm. it bugs in multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to press the communications menu. At the top right of the screen, you can see I'm going to go ground crew. I'm going to go ground air supply. Connect. Chief, connect ground air supply. This will only work if... <laughs> that is so freaking Grinelli. Look at that. <laughs> uh, so funny. There's a friggin' fan, Grinelli! That's how they do in the real world, Cab. Oh, hello, gaming. This is so cool. Right, I've got a fan. Uh, Grinelli, what do I do now? Now we wait 30 seconds for the fan... It's growing! <laughs> how the hell did you do this? Patience. Ah, oh, so funny. So funny. Oh, Nick's gonna like this one. <laughs> and the, the technical answer for the modders is a, a float, an arc float on the scale modifier. Yeah, that's probably what I thought, an arc scale on the mo float modifier. Look at that, guys. Looks so funny. Okay, so the balloon will eventually reach a point where the fan can no longer inflate it. When it gets to that point, the main burners, you will use your, your burners to inflate the balloon the rest of the way. There's your flower bombs. Oh, oh yes, well, on the sides. Nice. Yep. Friggin' hell, the, the, even the human looks just like me. That's so weird. Right, okay, Grinelli, um, we need to pump the burners. What should I, what do I press? The, the levers, the, the red levers. The red lever. Oh! <laughs> stop, stop. Oh, I don't know what to do. You don't overheat it. You don't want to overheat it too no. much. So now's a good time to talk about the basic principles of what's going on here. Yes, please. Technically, what's going on, we're heating the air inside the balloon. The, the hotter air becomes lighter than the, the cooler air outside, so the balloon wants to float, right? That's the, that's the two-sentence version of it. Mm -hmm. So... As you heat the air, it will take time for the the heat to actually... So you can keep filling it yep. to get it all the way upright. Um, as you heat the balloon, if you hold down the burners for, let's say, a three potato or a five potato yep. count, it will continue to add the heat into the balloon You know, a couple seconds after. So there's a delayed reaction to you pulling the lever, to you actually getting the lift from the heat that you applied inside the 105 cubic meters of air, whatever it is. Cubic feet, I guess. 
So now we're ready to go. So yeah. inside the cockpit, if you look back at that DBI-3, uh, that red computer. Check. You'll see that we have uh, some information across the top. We have a vent information that says zero right now. Mm -hmm. The vent is a slot at the top of the balloon controlled with the W and S keys. Mm -hmm. W closes the vent and S will open the vent. Yep. So if you hold down S, uh, the longer you hold down S, the more the vent will open Ooh, and the more hot air will be released out of the top of the balloon Check. so that's how you would induce rapidly descending if you put too much heat into it yep next across the top you have your outside air temperature and you have your inside air temperature for the europeans you can click the function button on the bottom right of that to change the units from fahrenheit to celsius Check. so there's your inside temps and there's your outside temp then below that you have your altimeter which you can zero with the plus and minus buttons at the center bottom then okay. below that you have your wind speed, we can see is at five knots right now, yep. at, coming from 264, and we have a stopwatch that you can start on the farthest left button. Check. That little switch off on the side is your mm -hmm. master arm. I would leave that alone for now. Mm -hmm. So uh, <clears throat> finally, down arrow on the keyboard will throw a drop line overboard, which effectively simulates the ground people helping you stay on the ground without floating away. Check. So now you're at the point where you can start ripping some heat into it. And at about 160, 170 degrees Fahrenheit, the balloon should start to float away. Uh, right, looking for the heat. The top right one is the heat inside, isn't it? Uh, yes. You should be starting, just keep putting a little bit of heat into yeah. it. It varies because of the outside temperature. Roger. And my tow line. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, it's actually clear with scary. Oh, uh, 100 feet? Uh, feet per minute. Look at that. 1,000 feet per minute. That's amazing. Right, so now, if you stop putting the heat into it as we go up, you can see that the heat will naturally bleed off. And you just kind of have yep. to monitor where you want to be, what kind of altitude, and then. If you need a lot of heat, you use both burners. If you need a little bit of heat, you use a single burner. If you want to really have a fine control over it, you would use the whisper burners. How did you find out all about this, Grinelli? All this stuff is not F-22 classified. There's manuals right. and people pick up the phone mm -hmm, and talk mm -hmm. to you about it. Uh, I, I, we have a couple hot air balloon pilots. Gorlo, our uh, lead pilot for the A from the Blue Angel group that we do, is a hot air balloon, a licensed hot air balloon pilot. So I've, I've had a lot of feedback. This is a real simple thing to kind of attack because all the data, you know, we were able to look at yep. the data. Yep, that's friggin' awesome. So I know this is a stupid question, but you, you don't steer, right? You go where the wind goes, am I right? So in the mission editor, I set the wind to some arbitrary direction to just blow you inland. But mm -hmm. yes, you with this hot air balloon, wherever the wind goes is where you wow. go. You do have the option using the alpha and delta A and D keys to open turning vents mm -hmm. that will allow the hot air balloon to rotate if you want to, you know, say face into the yeah, sunset. Yeah, 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 Let's try it. Where, where are these vents? In the, in the balloon? The vents are in the balloon. They're not animated and it's yeah. strictly an EFM thing. So it's, it's merely just pressing A or D on, and holding it on the keyboard yeah. and it'll start to get the rotation. Oh, right, because it, they must work like little thrusters, right? A little bit of hot air comes yeah, out. It just, open, it just changes the attitude mm -hmm. of the balloon, and it lets it, like, you know, alter its its moment of inertia, kind of lets it rotate. This is great, guys. I can't wait until there's a whole bunch of us going in. So Whee! now I guess we're high enough uh, yeah. where we can throw the master arm on. Check. F on the keyboard will cycle through the different modes that you can drop. Single, pairs, or all at once. I would recommend doing singles. Yep, check. All right, and then uh, if you hit F4, you should be able to get a good <laughs> side view of zooming in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then whenever you're ready, spacebar does the trick. Ich bin ein Bomber! <laughs> Explodes! <laughs>
<laughs> oh my, this is going to be the hardest freaking bombing mission we've ever done, guys. Ripple coming up. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> oh no, I've broken it. There we go. I can't wait to go and bomb some freaking airfields in hot air balloon. Guys, we've got to put this in a mission. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. I love it, Granelli. I love it. What do we... Okay. Um, to keep this part of the video relatively short, is there anything else other than going to try and landing? The landing is very simple. You, we don't have to worry about that necessarily, but uh, technically you could just open your the vent at the top and let it, you know, let the heat out. It'll drop out of the sky. It's very difficult to actually have it explode because the balloon itself is like a natural parachute. Yeah, yeah. We did, didn't go over the blue levers, or we did, but I wasn't listening. Well, the blue levers are the liquid burner. The blue levers are the whisper burners. So those operate like a... Go ahead and hit F2 and go outside. And while you're looking outside of the balloon, go ahead and hit the left and right arrow keys while looking at the burner. And you'll see oh. the uh, the height of the flame. Yeah. Now, hit the Q and E keys. Tiny flame. So that's only generating about... 45% of the heat that the main burners would. So like if you were falling out of the sky and you're like, oh my God, I need to climb fast. Yeah. You would use the big burners. But if you were skimming along the tops of the trees yeah. and you were trying to keep your feet per minute right. as even as possible, you would yeah. just blip those little teal levers every once in a while. Almost like trim, just a fine. Ex yeah, you, because you can overdo it. If you hold it down yeah. for too long, then you start climbing more than you wanted to. It's it's as close as we could get it to the documents that we could find of what a real hot air balloon would be like. How much does a hot air balloon cost, Granelli? Because now I want one. Uh, that's a good question. Don't say a lot. I mean, I can't see anything in here that's like actually, hot, you know, super high tech. Burners, a little machine, a wicker basket. I could knock one of these up in the back garden. I it. could see it being upwards of 20 grand, though, because right, it's the, the envelope on the top is, you know, got to be heat resistant and repair there's a lot more than you'd think that's at, that's not modeled that's in a hot air balloon there's a lot of we're about um, to have a small turning ropes oh my god help tree tree oh, back down <laughs> it's harder than it looked there's a delay on everything it's like driving a freaking battleship down have you you know what? i watched this is great timing because i watched a uh, movie only a few days ago about the beginning of a meteorology and you know the, the only flying devices back then were hot air balloons obviously this is a long time ago and um i must admit it did look fascinating and here, here's me now in a modern balloon right so the thing the main thing you've got to get used to granelli as i'm sure you agree is the delay right there's a massive delay so you've got to think ahead you can't it's not like an, being in a friggin jet you kind of create a cadence in your head, like a one potato, two potato, none. Right. And then like that'll give you like a 500 foot increase if you did that on both main burners. Yeah. Now also, you can you can open that vent now because now at this point, you're gonna wanna probably fly, try to skim over the tops of these trees yep. with the vent open and you'll have a lot more control over your up and down. Yep. But you're probably, you know, it, it, either way, it, it's all just a feel, like you said. The, mm -hmm. the delay is very big. Once you get the hang of it, though, it's kind of fun to uh, yes, uh, just kind of troll away, yes, grab yes. a drink, and float around. Well, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it down here, and then we're going to jump in to do some mass multiplayer, and it's going to be fun. Right, yeah, we have one more surprise. Oh, good. Roger. Let me just stick it down. I'm getting good now. Look, I'm literally scraping these trees right. VSI is there. At this point, you can leave the vent open yep. and let the Check. FPM drain fully out and let the balloon parachute down. Yep. The only thing I might consider is rotating yourself to the left so that the long side of the basket is uh, perpendicular to the like line of travel that you're in so that it tips over less. Also, you can pull out your drop line, so press down on the keyboard drop so it's like, it's like throwing out your rope to the people that are following yep. around mm -hmm. in a car and that'll help uh stopping the balloon from tipping over hey! we didn't blow up usually everything i do blows up or catches on fire i love it right and it's just slowly coming to a standstill and that is my first freaking hot air balloon thing what happens if i just leave it does the canopy fold up or 
Just what happened? If you hit left control D three times, like you're ejecting, I believe it simulates a deflate. Cap, of course you asked. I just searched uh, how much it costs to buy a hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. And just the balloon itself costs something around 20 up to 40. Some special shapes Expensive. cost 100,000 uh, euros. Wow. So GoFundMe starts when? Even I can't crash one of these guys. And and you need a basket. Well, you did hit a tree, to be fair. I, well, yeah, there was that. Okay, Grinelli, I've um, landed. I've I'm not sorry. smashed my legs, and I've deflated it. Um, what happened? What all do right. we now? What's this other thing we're talking about? All right, this is a very special. So since we did all this work, and I'm yes, a huge did. fan of uh, Top Gear and... Yeah. <laughs> It's a friggin' caravan with a friggin' blimp on it. It's stupid. It's awesome. I want to drive it, Grinelli. How do I drive it? <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a much faster. This is a much faster thing. So let's quickly go into your binds, and uh, we have yep. to bind some axes real quick. We have to. Do you have a split throttle? Check. Yeah. All right. So in your axis key binds, we need to bind burner power, and uh, there should be like an engine thrust or a throttle somewhere. Yep check is there a steering is axis? Rudder, rudder axis is that it yeah that's what we want move your blue lever all the way forward check blue lever and, forward. Leave, and, and leave it there that controls how much power goes to the burners mm -hmm. okay now looking at the center console mm -hmm. there is a switch to the top right mm -hmm. of the circuit breakers flip that okay then if you follow that switch down to the bottom mm -hmm. You have the two pilot light switches next to that, so make sure the two pilot light switches are on. Check. Then we're going to turn the key on. Uh, that, that's the, check. The, the key is for the paramotor. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to spam that black and silver igniter button eight or nine times again. And then we're going to use the left and right. Actually, if you look between your legs, the way they did it, they put the burner controls in between your legs. So hmm. you can click those levers there, and that should activate the burners. You can also use the left and right arrow keys. Check. All right. Are the burners working? Yep. And across the top, you can see the bottom row has the outside temperature and the inside temperature, the balloon, the wind speed the altimeter and all the same information is there. It's mm -hmm. just laid out differently. Mm -hmm. So at this point, press and hold down the green button Somebody. on the dashboard until the engine starts. Check. Ensure that your throttle controls the engine. Check. Now blast your burner, your main burners until maybe uh, again, 180 degrees 170 degrees and then as you approach 170 degrees um start giving it a little bit of power Here we go guys <laughs> get some baby <laughs> <Whee! laughs> uh, now if you look above I, you don't want to get copyright striked how oh, happens but if you if you look above your head, yeah, directly above you is that MP3 player. <laughs> it's yeah. got, it's got all music that is from British bands and that Top Gear used on all their popular episodes. It's like a Top Gear playlist. Beautiful. <laughs> look at me. Does it steer or does it just yeah. go? How yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. right. Oh wow. Look at this. You can also you can also put flower bombs on this and drop them the same way. Yeah. You so can also open the front window if you click the two uh, lock latches on the front bottom win uh, row of the window and then you click somewhere in the middle. Yeah. You can open that front window. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Does it have a hook? A hook. What for? Carrier landing. Oh, nice. <laughs> Next challenge. Bomb a, a or We're gonna go bomb in a runway, the friggin. Are you guys looking forward to this? I hope so. Yeah, I, I wanna play that action <laughs> so much. I love it, it's friggin' awesome. Anything to show off on this, Grinelli, before we sign off? 
uh, no, for the most part, this was just a, you know, like I said, we already had everything done. It was just a matter of adding some engine code and ability to steer it. So it, it, how can you not do this? Watch out. Well, it's typically excellent from, from Grinelli as ever. Well done, Grinelli. We're going to have some fun with this. Um, we're going to sign off for this video now, but we're going to come back a day later for you guys with some mass multiplayer balloon action. I hope you enjoyed, Dan. See you later.